took some chances when he said we're done. I traveled west after quitting school, and the dream I had, it didn't matter. I could not take me As I was, I still played childhood games. My heart got broke, I quit bad jobs. I thought my soul was old, but I'd already seen the promised land. So I did not need the promised land. Soon things got tough. Like they always do Trouble's the stuff that dreams are made of But with my chin up I watch things burn In my head This couldn't stop me I'm different from the others Nothing could get me or stand in my way to family for love Do they ask to help Say try again No I just felt like a failure You can never go home again Unless your family believes in you Crossroads now, dear, and that you have a rarely found chance to renew your life. I know your heart is broken. That's usually the first thing someone notices before you do. But did you know that love and the death of love is the only way we can experience life and the death of life without truly dying ourselves? So when you look at it that way, cheer up. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't believe in death because it doesn't frighten me. That's what death has to do to get anything accomplished anyway, you know what I mean? Without fear, there'd just be that cycle of life you're talking about, which makes some sense here and there if you think about it for way too fucking long. But right there, my mind begins to enter someone else's nightmare. If I'm having bad dreams, they better be mine. What really bums me out? This. I see and know so many people who don't do the things they should or the things they even like because they're frightened. There, I said it. Because they're frightened. Business people, artists, engineers, chemists, couples. <laughs> I'm going to take a chance right now and sound like I don't know anything at all. Who can form the words to stop people from being frightened? And while we're at it, who can form a sentence that has the right words in the right order to stop people from killing former children? Which soldier will be the first to say, I will not kill a former child? I can only think these thoughts because I believe these thoughts, but sure as hell, I would say them out loud and never stop repeating them if I could just find the words. Uh, I'm Lucy, by the way. Nice to meet you. I'm Helen. Yes, it's very nice to meet you. I speak for most everyone here. I know I can speak for most of the town when I say how good it is to see new business investment coming in from out of town. Businessmen haven't touched anything important or sensitive around here for a long time, so... So it's a good time when we all get to see a space getting filled with something everyone's going to come for. <clears throat> Which, of course, makes you awfully brave, coming in from nowhere and hanging a shingle. Do you know anything about our town? Absolutely nothing. Um, I have a pitch.
picture of when I was happy, but since then everything's just been a big blur. It's like I was abducted by aliens who probed me and then just dropped me off here in the middle of nowhere. Well, we have a lot of catching up to do then. <laughs> um, just what sort of a business did you say you were planning on opening anyway? 